What's your name? Last name. Okay, and uh, your number? Um, I just recently got it changed, so I don't really know it. Where are you living at? I'm living at his address. And you said you knew your uh, your license number? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, what's your date of birth, man? Okay. Um, and I guess it's your girlfriend that works at Common Grounds? Yes, sir. Right? What's her name? Her name's Samantha Koenig. K-O-E-N-I-G. What's Samantha's uh, middle name? Tesla. Tesla? Does she go by um, Sam, or does she go by Samantha, she or what does she go by? Both. She goes by both. Okay. So I came in on the tail end of stuff. The other two officers. Tell me, tell me what's going on. She works at Common Grounds. How long has she worked here? Um, about a month. About a month. And a half, yeah. Okay. Um, is this normal? She does she do the barista type work, or is this just her first job doing well, this type of stuff? I think this is her second barista job before this. She was working at Sea Galley, and then before that, she was working at uh, Harley Davidson. Okay, at the Harley Davidson store. Yes, sir. Okay, what did she do there? Um, she was a cashier. Okay, same thing at the Sea Galley, cashier type. She was a hostess. Hostess. Okay. Um, and she lives with you over on the Iowa address? Yes, sir. That, that's her and her dad's house. Her and her dad's house? Okay. And, and I guess we haven't seen her today. We don't know where she's at. Is that... Um, it all... Last night. So yesterday... Well, when's the last time you physically saw her? Yesterday. At yesterday at about what time? About 4 o'clock is when I left her work. Because I walked from home to here, and she let me take her truck... So I could go to work and not have to walk. Okay, so she's working here. Last time you saw her is at, at 4 o'clock. What time does she normally get off work? 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock? Yes, sir. Did you talk to her by phone or text any time between that uh, 4 and 8 o'clock? I talked to her at 7.45. She said she was going to call her cousin and get a ride because I had the truck. She was going to come to my work and pick up the truck. Um, and then I called her back about 7.50, 7.55, and asked if she answered and was going to give her a ride. And she said no. She said that she was just going to walk. I told her not to do that, to don't walk. And then I talked to my boss at Sweet 100 where I work. And I asked him, I said, I have the only means of transportation for me and my girlfriend. I'm wondering if I can get off the clock, go pick her up come back and then get back on the clock and keep finish my shift he said that was fine I left at 818 there got here at about 825 in between 825 833 and just the lights were shut off which usually doesn't happen at night usually the lights are kept on um, and everything looked locked up. I was, I parked the truck where that Jeep is, I got out of the truck, and I called her phone a couple times, and I was looking through the windows to see if she left it at work. Okay, and you said 8.15 you left Suite 100? Yes, sir. Okay, and you got here about what time? About 8.25, 8.33, in between there, because the truck was cold when I left, so I had to keep stopping and turn it off, turn it back on, let it warm up a little bit. Was uh, Common Grounds locked up? Was it all locked up? Well, I didn't try to get in it, but... From the you didn't try a door or anything like no, that? because I didn't want to try to get pinned with the breaking and entering. Yeah, but I mean, if she's she's not by the window and the lights are on, you know, it seems... Lights seem... were off. The lights were off last night. Okay, but you said the lights... You said some of the lights were on? Usually the lights are left on. Okay. At night when she closes up. And they were all off last night. I was just looking through the windows, everything looked locked up. 
I was just looking through the windows on the counters trying to see if she left her phone. Now, when you say the lights are off, I mean, was it totally blacked out? Yeah. And you didn't try the door, huh? No, sir. So what did you do then? I went back to work, and I kept calling and calling and calling, and I got no answer. I finished my shift, and then I got off work. I took the truck to the gas station, and I kept calling all my whole way home. I went to go put six bucks in gas, and then I went home. Where did you gas at? Um, went to the Chevron on International and Old Seward. Right across the street from Peanut Farm. About what time was that? I don't remember, man. I'm sorry. Um, I got off. You're pretty thin on fuel. I mean, you go straight to the gas station? Yes, sir. So exactly. I went straight to the gas station. And then I ended and What up time did you get off? I think it was close to 11. I ended up leaving the store or the restaurant at about, I think it was 11.18, 11.20. Okay, so... Because, I mean, I can look at the phone call and I'll, I'll know. <clears throat> Maybe got there by 11.30? Home, yeah. Well, to oh, the, the gas the station? gas station, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you keep calling, there's no answer. Are you texting or are you calling? Or you do a combination of I both? I was doing both. Okay. I mean, you can see before this, because my phone deletes after there's so many in there, before this, when I was on my way here, I called 28 times. I got no answer. And then... How long have you been dating Samantha? Almost nine months. Almost nine months. Has she ever done anything like this in the past? Has she ever been um, where you can't get a hold of her for a day, a half a day, two days, anything like that? Yes, Nothing whatsoever? She's always answered, and even if she hasn't, I kept calling when she was pissed off, mad at me. And she'd answer and just say, stop calling me, I'm mad at you, or something. But she would answer the phone, let me know she was okay. Okay, so, you get home last night, nothing whatsoever? No. What time was she due to work this morning? One o'clock. Okay, so you come over here at one and she's not here? <laughs> or you come over a little before? We came at 12.30 and waited. I talked to the girl in there asking if she called or anything. And she said no. So we parked over here. And then her boss called. Whatever. Because I mean, he goes by. Okay, and that's Sam's father? Yes, sir. Okay. And said, someone jumped through the window, made her kill the lights, and then took her, and took and, all the money. And how does, how does the, uh, how does the owner uh, know that? The camera's around the building. The she camera around the Common Grounds building? Yes, sir. She can, she can view them through her home. She's in Oregon right now. She can view them through her home. Did she look at the um, camera footage before talking to you guys or after talking to you guys? Well, at first, we I called the location on Dowling in Old Seward, trying to explain the situation, trying to get his phone number from the girl that works there, mm -hmm. and she said that she couldn't help me out because... For whatever reason, she said she couldn't help me. So, did you ask her to pass a message for you to since she wouldn't give you a number? No, I think she just did it. Okay. So, calls you. Says she hasn't. Uh, that Sam hasn't showed up for work. She called. 
uh, reviewing the tapes and said that everything looked normal as a normal closing. But then after that, she called him again and told him that she was looking at the wrong tape and that her husband found the right one. He said that a man jumped through the window, made her turn the lights off, and took her. And then after she was out, she, he went back in and closed everything up and just make it look normal. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about Sam. Uh, she's, what, 18, going on 19? 18, 19 in October. Okay. Um, August, I'm sorry. And you say you've been dating her for about nine months, right? Yeah. Okay. What, what do you know about her history? Is um, she has, is prior boyfriends? Do you know any of the prior boyfriends? She hasn't been married, obviously. What about kids? Does she have any kids? Okay, so nobody nobody be upset about... Um, uh, child custody or anything like that? Yes, sir. Okay. And you don't know much about prior boyfriends? No. I know her ex-boyfriend got her into drugs and passed bad checks. You know what his last name is? No, sir, I do not. Describe him. Have you ever met him? I've never met him. Okay, is he a white guy, black guy, native I guy? I no, no idea at all, I don't huh? know anything about him. But... Got her into drugs? Yes, sir. And then she's been clean for, I think, going on a year. Um, I mean, this, this isn't like her at all. Okay. Is she using anything right now? And, and I don't care about any of that. I'm just asking because I ask questions. You know, we need to we need to explore all stuff. Um, what was her drug of choice when she was with? She was using cocaine. Cocaine. Okay. Is she smoking it or snorting it or a combination? Okay. Uh, you've been with her for nine months. You guys live together. Any? Is she not that she completely fall off the wagon? But I mean, is she is she sampling? Yes, and we doing a little bit of coke from time to time. No, sir, I'd be able to tell. And, I mean, I'm with her every day, almost all day, except for when we go to work. And then she's there to pick me up after work. And, I mean, if she were doing it again, even in small amounts, I would know. Okay. <clears throat> what, about, uh, what about alcohol or anything like that? Does she drink a little bit of alcohol? No, only... Only with me at the house. Okay. Um, does she owe anybody any money that you know only, of? Only her mom's boyfriend or husband, whoever. But that's for her truck payment. That's paying off the rest of her truck. Okay. And I take it uh, her mom and split up? Yes, sir. Any idea how much money um, she owes him? Is she back a few payments with it? $680. She's on the payments. We're caught up. I'm helping her through it. And she owes $680. And then she pays for the insurance. Okay. Has she said anything to you in the past week or so? Um, Anything unusual at work? Um, people scoping the place out? Any frequent flyers, guys that keep coming by? Guys that have been hanging out, watching the place? Anything at all unusual with her work lately? She said that two people have came in, a male and a female, at different days, different times, asking if she was scared that she would get robbed. She said, no, this place has cameras everywhere. Okay. Did she describe either of those two to you? She didn't. She thought that was a little bit odd, though? Yes, sir. Um, does she have very much cash with her? Any idea? Well, from what she made in tips last night, which isn't anything over $20. And then this morning when the opener came in, there was no money 
in the deposit mm -hmm. or in the till. But that's not that's not like Sam. Sam. Okay, so you don't think that she uh, she might have gone to a motel or something like that, or hanging out at a motel for some crazy reason? Not if someone jumped through the window. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm asking, no, I, and I haven't I, seen I the video, and, and I, I don't know. So, um, you know, we try and think of, of all the different things. There's no no recent problems in the past week or two between you and her. Um, big blowout fights, anything like that. We have little arguments every now and again, but and, and that's common that's for common. couples to do. You bet. Would you say any time that, that that would happen and you would call her, she would always at least answer the phone and tell you to quit quit bugging her, right? Yeah. That she was going to just spend the day with her friend and come home later tonight. Have you got any idea where we might be able to find her at all? I have an idea of who might have did it because this, this gentleman raped my girlfriend. Okay. Does, does she know who this guy is? Oh, yeah. Okay, why would you think that he'd have something to do with it? Because he he raped her on a previous occasion? Yeah, about two and a half months ago. Something like that. And then... Did she report that? Yes, sir, and the files, the charges were dropped. For what reason? Because there was not, not enough, evidence, enough evidence, evidence? Okay, what's his name? I think you spelled the last name. Could be heard as an actual flying animal. Okay. How old? Any idea? Twenties. Twenty-ish. Yeah. Is he uh, white, native, black? He's white. What makes you think that uh, that he may have done this? Is he trying to get back at her? You think? That's what I think. Okay. Have you had any interaction with him lately? Not lately. Um, when everything was hunky dory, fine. I mean, he's he sold me weed a couple times. Okay, so you know him for a while? No, I I only knew him for about a month, and then it happened. Okay, where'd you meet? At? I always met him at his house. Okay, where's his house at? I don't know the physical address, but I can take you there. Okay, can you give me a description in town? Um, off Raspberry, as there's the Holiday Inn. And then you take a left. Okay, that's down, going down Northwood. Yes, sir. And then a decent amount down the road. It's where... Do you turn left or right off of Northwood? Turn left. Okay, so on Country Woods? No. That's, that's a little ways down. 80th is about the first one by the post office. You have to keep going past the post office? Past the post office. Okay, and then take a left after that? Yes. Well, it's, I mean, it's onto a road that goes into a neighborhood. Yeah, Country Woods goes back into a neighborhood there, and then there's Lamplighter and a, a couple other streets back up in there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I couldn't. I'm sorry, I don't have this information. I wish I did. But I could take you there. What was what was Samantha wearing last night? Um, fuck, I don't even know. She has these fuzzy boots, but they're actually slippers. They go up to about here. Um, I think she was wearing black leggings. <laughs> okay, was she wearing a skirt or pants? Just leggings. Just leggings? Okay, <laughs> over a long shirt then? Over like a... Uh, a long shirt, yeah. A, a long um, sweatshirt? What color is your hair? Brown. Brown? It's, is it long, short? It's like a dirty blonde. I mean, if you asked your dad, I don't really pay attention to hair color. I mean, not so. Okay. Is it color. long, though? Is it short? It goes down to about here. Okay. And on her back, in the shower, it goes to about here. Okay. Do you have any mutual friends with this... Um, Dude, no, any don't. any dudes that you know that hang around with him or know him at all? No. Okay. <laughs> Was there after after this? And I'm calling it an allegation I, because I don't know. But after this this assault allegation by her against, her, was there any um, threatening texts to her? Any threatening calls that she ever mentioned to you? 
Nothing I know of. Not that you know of, nothing you ever saw on her phone? All the text messages that I saw on her phone from him were, why don't you just actually tell people what really happened, blah, blah, blah. But she would never cheat on me, and I know that. It's not her. And she's not going to lie about getting raped because it's happened before. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else you can think of? Observed. Let me ask you this. Um, I saw someone in her truck at 3 o'clock this morning. In her truck? Yes, sir. At home? Yeah. Okay, what did you see there? Um, I opened the door at about 3 o'clock to check if her truck was still there to see if she came and got it and just left. But her truck was there and... I went outside and I was in my slippers and my robe and I went up to the gate at the house and when the guy saw me he was in a black ski mask wearing all black clothes it looked like he had gloves on I could not tell if he was white or black or whatever couldn't tell his ethnicity but he had the keys to her truck because there was no damage and you're positive the truck was locked when you parked it there? Yes, sir. The only thing that was taken from the truck was her ID. And we did not report it. Any reason we didn't uh, report it? No. I just figured that she just had someone go get something out of her truck. She was mad at me or something, had a bad day. This isn't like her. Did she uh, normally leave her ID in the truck? I mean, at work here, doesn't she normally carry her ID with her? She has the truck, and it's in... On, on her visor, there's like a CD case thing mm -hmm. where it's got pockets and zippers. Usually it's in one pocket that I had a couple of receipts in. And after the guy left... After I got her dad, like I saw him walking. Did you say anything to him? I said, well, "Can I fucking help you?" Uh, that's all I said. Mm -hmm. Did he take off running, or did he walk away he nonchalantly, walked, or walked away like nothing <clears throat> ever happened? And this was over on the Iowa address, right? Yes, sir. And then, like Iowa and Spinard goes like this. Mm -hmm. He was walking towards McCray. That's it. And this is about three o'clock yesterday morning or this morning? This morning. Okay. You're uh, pretty sure of all the times you gave me? I mean, you're, it sounds like you're almost spot on. I mean, how? I mean, you're checking your watch, you're checking your cell phone. How are you getting all checking the time? Checking my cell phone because I would call almost every two minutes or every time I couldn't get through, I would call again. And then I call again and again. Okay. Um, did you give me your phone number? What's a good phone number for you? That. Okay. I recently got my phone number changed from a 227 number because of calls I didn't want to get from girls and all that other stuff. I just wasn't trying to have problems with my girlfriend. Okay, so I got my phone number. Let me let me ask you this, and once again, I I don't I don't care one way or another. But do you owe anybody any money? Do you have any drug debts or anything goofy like that? Yes, sir. That somebody would want to snatch her in order to put pressure on you to get you to pay those debts? Yes, sir. And, and I don't care if you're doing drugs or whatever. I, I, you know, we're here for Samantha. No, I, so I need you to be perfectly honest with I me. I would be honest with you, and I am right now. I. I have no money owed to anyone. Um, I'm working Sweet 100. I'm looking to get a vehicle, so I'm trying to save up. Okay. But I'm also trying to pay bills. So nothing, nothing time. you can think about of anybody who's trying to get at you through her then. No. All right. Okay. Well, sit tight for a sec. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, man. I appreciate it. Officer Hemmerich has contact tape with... Uh
<clears throat> at uh, 6.30 East here. I'll be off tape or on pause. So after Hamish, it's 2 2 2012 at 13.40, and it's APD case number 12-5307-5307. And that was contact tape with the second off tape.